Hi there, just want to show you how I fixed my Samsung induction stove. Um, the symptom I had was it worked awesome and uh, then I shut one of these dowels off too quick and then I would get uh, no lights, uh, no sound when you turn the burner on and uh, um, no power and uh, no display here. But uh, my main display for the oven and everything was working fine. Uh, so what I did is I tore it all apart and uh, the, the part that I found was faulty was this uh, little circuit board here. And uh, so what I can tell was wrong with it is uh, you can see on this board there is uh, an inline fuse or um, uh, pardon me soldered in fuse. And uh, so I'm going to touch my leads together. And there should be just a little bit of resistance. So you can see when I touch my leads together, I've got resistance. Um, and note the scale too on a manual ranging meter, you're going to want to make sure you have it set correctly. So I have it setting to a low setting. So there's barely any resistance, but that's good for an electrical circuit. Um, now when I, uh, uh, I just touch my leads together to verify that my leads are not broken. And then when I um, check the fuse at both ends, you'll see I have an open circuit. Um, so that's the problem I think is on this panel the fuse blew and I don't know if something else went wrong with it but you can see on this silver part right kind of by my thumb there's a burn spot. Um, so something got hot there and burnt um, and then maybe that's what triggered this fuse to blow. So the replacement part I got from uh, Samsung and uh, this is the part number of mine. Uh, something that was really helpful is uh, um, go talk to like a, like a parts department instead of like buying it off Amazon. And then I gave them my model and serial number and they gave me an exploded view of everything. And uh, that was a huge help because uh, when you take this uh, induction stovetop apart, um, there's quite a lot of parts. And uh, when you go to do the repair yourself, um, basically all the parts are in this top section that comes off. Um, so there's like fans, lights, uh, there's about five circuit boards in there. And uh, I'm not very skilled with electronics, but what I did is um, uh, one by one, uh, one at a time, I kind of pulled the electrical clips for each board. And then I flipped them upside down because I saw online some of them, they had bad solder connections and that was causing a different symptom. For example, it wouldn't recognize the pot on one of the burners and it ended up having like a bad solder joint. You can see these are all good because they're nice and silver, but on other people's videos, it was kind of like yellow brown and you can see like a hole in it. And uh, so just like a poor connection that they were able to fix. So. Um, anyway, I hope that you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Um, I'm hoping to do a video in the future uh, where I go in and I can kind of show like step by step what I did. And uh, also, I have to go back and fix because if you listen, uh, you can hear the one back fan is nice and quiet. There's one fan that sits here to cool a module for these two right side burners. And then on the left side, there's a, another module and another fan, and then this one is really noisy. So I'll be going back to fix that another day. Um, all right, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment and uh, thanks, have a good day.